Okay, guys, I have to apologize. This is Zoom. Hiba uh, hasn't activated her mic yet. By the way, let me share the screen. And I think that Tagrid and Ra are missing. I hope just to be able to come and join us again. Okay, so again, I was saying uh, before the disconnecting uh, of the meeting that sometimes, guys, with, uh, while you are watching a certain movie, you can hear the uh, a word of or the sentence of WhatsApp. So the meaning of WhatsApp is what is going on. Now we have this word, which is what's on. Now the question is, can I use another diff or, or let me say different WH question with on, for example, like when it's on. Okay, so let's listen to the final recording and let's solve the final Um. Uh, exercise in level three, which is 6.11. The read is coming, thanks God, before playing the recording. Okay, so this is it, and this is the final recording. Where is the file? Let me open it again. I think I lost it. Okay. So let's play and let's fill the gap. Tape script 6.11. Let me erase my screen and let's start. What's on? One. What shall we do today? I'm not sure. How about going to the cinema? Hmm, I don't really feel like seeing a film. So? Going to cinema. Going to the cinema. We have gerund verb ing. Going to the cinema. Exactly. This is cinema. This is n. I'm sorry. Let me try to write in bold. And I have to write cinema. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is going to the cinema. This is n. n. Okay. Now... Um, I don't really feel like, like what? Who remembers? Okay, let me replay and let's listen again. So this is it, let's listen. One. What shall we do today? I'm not sure. How about going to the cinema? Hmm, I don't really feel like seeing a film. So? I think a film. I don't really feel like seeing a film. Seeing a film? Yes. Going to the cinema. Yes, let me close this window, please. It's not your time. So going to the cinema and seeing a film. So notice that I can use gerund verb ing after how about, and I feel like verb ing. So seeing a film. Okay, now let's listen to the recording or conversation number two. Two. Okay, would you like to go to an exhibition? That sounds interesting. What's on? Well, there's a Van Gogh exhibition. Is it any good? I think it looks really good. Okay, so that sounds interesting. And what's on? Uh, what's on? Is what's about on? Exactly what's on? So what is it about? The meaning of what is it about is what's on. It is so about what the, uh, uh, the meaning of what what's on is. Uh, and also see another choice. It's like it's about what? Okay. No, should I another choice? Other than no. What's on? Yes. 
I can say it's about what? Okay. Okay. So it's about what uh, has the same meaning of what's on. So it's about what? It is about Van Gogh or Van Gogh in some uh, uh, cultures exhibition. Now it's, or it is what? Or is it so? Really so good. Is it really good? We have to repeat just to check. Is it really good? Good. So I think it really good. It is. Okay, <laughs> let me write is and let's listen again. This is the recording. Let me go back a little bit. Two. Okay, would you like to go to an exhibition? That sounds interesting. What's on? Well, there's a Van Gogh exhibition. Is it any good? I think it looks really good. So? Is it any good? Uh-huh. Is it any good? Yani azdu fiya anu fi shi yes. Do we have something good? Yes, exactly. In attending or going to the exhibition. I think it is really good. Now we have to listen to the final recording, which is a three. Three. Where is it on? What? what where is it on? Where is it on? So I can use where with on, not all the time what. So where is it on? Where is it on? Where this occasion, uh, for example, uh, uh, um, um, I can say takes place. Takes place is happen. So where is it on? Where is it on? So where this occasion uh, 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 exactly happens, this is the meaning of where is it on? So what's on? Where is it Teacher, on? Teacher, can you repeat uh, the meaning of where is it uh, on? Yes. The meaning of where, Jamila, by the way, is talking about a place. Notice Royal Academy. Okay? Okay. And, uh, and we said that we have what? Exhibition. So where, where, uh, I can say, does, where, where does this occasion happen? Okay, so instead of saying where does where does this occasion happen, I can say simply where is it on? Okay. okay. So what is on? Where is it on? Uh, they are good questions. Instead of saying what is going on and where this occasion or where does this occasion happen? So this occasion, okay. this exhibition happens at the Royal Academy. Teacher, okay. what is meaning of exhi exhibition? This is Ma'arad, a place where we can show pictures uh, or artistic okay. things, like statues or something like that. You mean like a museum for picture or, uh, or a gallery? Oh, okay. It's uh, It can be for pictures and it can be, it can be for something else, like statues. Okay, you thank know, it's you. Not, it's not it must to be pictures about pictures, paintings all the time, but it can be something else, just to show okay. something. Okay, now what's the Piccadilly Circus? Let's listen. It's on at the Royal Academy. Ah. So notice the answer is it's on and you have to mention the place. So the answer of the question, where is it on, is it's on. After that, you can mention the place. Okay. What's the nearest underground? What? Again. Can you I... repeat? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay. Let me repeat that. Three. Where is it on? It's on at the Royal Academy. Ah. What's the nearest underground? What? Nearest underground? Yeah, nearest. What's the nearest? The closest. 
أقرب Yes What's the nearest what? Underground Do you know the meaning of underground? Like railway Yeah, thank you Or Underground Sorry. Yes, like trains Absolutely, mm -hmm. the trains are running uh, underground Not, not uh, upground The upground is railway station Underground Okay, guys. So underground, especially in Britain, it is famous for the underground. Now let's complete listening. Um, Piccadilly Circus. Mm -hmm. How much is it? It's twelve pounds and eight pounds for students. Oh. What? It's a twelve pound and eight uh, pounds for. students. Uh, bravo! Eight pounds for students. So eight pounds for the students. Okay, let's complete listening to fill the final gap. What time is it open? Um, from ten till six. Right, good idea. Let's go. So. Good, good idea. idea. Oh, bravo! Good idea, and let's go to that exhibition. Good idea. So this is it about what's on and where is it on. I can say when is it on. Absolutely, when is it on is completely true, completely correct. So it's like what's up. I know that maybe you heard this sentence in a certain film or a certain book. So uh, 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 I can use these sentences uh, just to, uh, let me say, abbreviate uh, the uh, long sentences. So I think this is it. This is everything now concerning level three. And absolutely, we will have a certain exam just to check your understanding or your proficiency about understanding level three. Absolutely, I'm going to give you enough time to study. And let me ask you if one week is enough to study for the exam. Teacher, uh, mm. 10 days or 15 days. In no. Why that long, Jamila? Because we have uh, a school. Okay. Ah, your final exams. Exactly, me too. I'm preparing now the final exams for my schools. <laughs> By the way, let's vote. What do you suggest, guys? Okay. What is the best number of days you need to fully study for your exam? From 15 or for okay. 20, Anna. Jamila is saying that 15 days. What do you think, Zainab? One week, it's enough, I think. One week, so seven days. Um, Raed? About two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks, so 14 days. Hiba? Say number, please. What is the best day according to you? I have a lot of time. Okay, two weeks. Okay, two weeks, 14 days. Let me ask Tavrid. From one week to uh, 10 days. To 10 Maximum. days. So I, oh, okay. So guys, approximately, um, the approximate number now is 14 days. So I'm going to give you two weeks. Uh, just to be ready for the exam. I know that two weeks is really too much, but I know that now you are having the final exams in your school. Uh, because of that, absolutely, uh, we are going to consider uh, this uh, um, situation because now, as I told you, I'm preparing the same uh, exams. So 14 days is enough. After 14 days, please, you have to be ready for the final exam. So it's the 29th of April, uh, please, after two days, uh, on um, on Monday, um, the exam starts. Okay? Okay. Thank so, you so much. Absolutely. I'm going to download all the videos because I know that you want to study and everything is going to be okay this night. Okay. Teacher, I have mm. a question. Yes, uh, 
إيه إنه في في verbs إنه like feel like إنه بيجي وراهم دايما ال verb with ing yes I feel like what هيدول إمتى حندرسهم إنه it's not, it's it's that it's really easy Jamila okay because let me let me tell you something Jamila you notice that feel is a verb Okay, like in some places is a verb, so we cannot repeat too much verbs in the same sentence. So it's simply you have to use the gerund or verb ing. Okay. Okay, for example, yes, for example, I feel like having a good day. I feel like having a suitable mood. Huh? Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. And absolutely, you can say, I don't feel like, I don't feel like. As you notice in the video, I don't uh, feel like seeing a video. I don't feel like uh, um, um, uh, walking, for example, uh, to the park, to the park, or something like that. Yes. Okay, right. And Jamila, if you have any suggestion, for example, maybe your friend is going to say, I'm bored and we need to go somewhere. Maybe you want to say, how about visiting your friend? How about watching a movie? How about eating a pizza? How about walking along the beach? So notice that how about I used after have about gerund or verb ing. Okay, Jamila? Okay, teacher. And guys, if you want to master them, you have to use them. You have to practice them just to be able to master them as I told you. Okay, Any thank other you. Questions? Yes. Uh, have you sent it via WhatsApp? Yes. No, not yet. Because I think Hiba, it's only you who wrote the email. I'm waiting for the others just to finish writing the email. By the way, guys. Um, the correction of the email is going to be on Wednesday because the next class is on Wednesday. Am I right? So please try to finish writing it as much as you can because after two days is going to be the day of correction your email. Okay, thank, thank you, Hiba. Uh, absolutely, I'm going to save it for the next two days to correct your email. So okay, please... Don't forget writing the email. It is really important. And I have to confess that this course was one of my favorite course. You are really smart. You are amazing. And I really wish the best for you. Thank you so much, teacher. Oh, I have to. Thank you again. And That's let me wish you a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.